UFC fight card happened recently um, with Volkanovski versus Yair Rodriguez. Maybe one of the best cards so far that we've seen this year. And one thing that was really interesting was that it looked like, from what I could see via the fucking broadcast, this may have been the first time that Trump and Joe Rogan have met in person. I don't know if it's true, but it looked like it. And Trump clearly, you know, has a somewhat magnetic, charismatic, char- charismatic, sorry, aura about him, where he kind of made, you know, Joe giggle a little bit, and he kind of, you know, I wouldn't say alpha him, but you know, he. Kind kind of gave him a reminder who fucking big D D D D J T is and this is a clip that somebody um recorded of donald Day trump meeting a rogan at the ufc event uh with volkanovsky and yaya rodriguez shaking his hand throughout the entire fight card many many a different UFC fighters went close and tried to basically kiss the ring and shake their hand the one thing that I quickly noticed is that Rogan's had a lot of these flipping interactions these sort of like semi fake ha ha he he smiley smiley so he's probably quite the master at these sort of attractions but it did seem a little bit awkward seemed a little bit forced or whatever i'm not sure what trump was saying to him you're the best you're the best right i'm coming on your podcast soon or something whatever it may be saying but very interesting interaction very very interesting because i think rogan's made it very clear that he doesn't want to have rogan or doesn't want to have trump on his platform um he said in general he doesn't want to have any more presidential candidates on his platform i think he kind of got put, or put off completely from being a part of it but considering how right-leaning rogan is becoming now and how kind of more open he is at discussing sort of like right-wing talking points i could see it happening now. i have a feeling it might happen and there is a little bit of a suggestion out there um from people who are you know more plugged in to the podcasting scene and shit they're saying that there is maybe a suggestion that rogan could end up going to rumble when his contract is up at spotify there is a suggestion that he could potentially go to rumble and if that's the case the rumble ceo is really friendly with with trump and shit that could maybe be a good little tie-in to kind of give that platform a bit of a boost um if they're trying to you know essentially take over the space of live streaming and shit i can see that happening going forward so maybe that is something that we may see going um you know happening in the near distant future because i think rogan's spotify contract is up in it either this year or early next year so they could be they could be an avenue where this is the case which would be fucking hilarious like imagine trump on fucking joe gre that's gonna be a very very interesting interview because if all of those guys like sam harris and eric weinstein or whatever and some other people maybe aren't fans of rogan's politics nowadays and think he maybe just went too far to the right just imagine how annoyed they're gonna be when he finally interviews fucking you know trump they're gonna be calling him out saying he didn't hold him accountable accountable for this hold him accountable for that they're going to be going fucking crazy so it's going to be interesting to see what happens when it does eventually happen which i think it will to be fair like i said i think rogan's being very much flirting with right-wing talking points and getting all those things off so i see that happening sometime soon and then obviously to make things very interesting um jack white somebody that i've got a lot of time for a very kind of influential songwriter out there and musician in his own right decided to weigh in on seeing trump out there with rogan and read the following on his caption on instagram anybody who normalizes or treats this um disgusting fascist racist con man disgusting piece of shit trump with any level of respect is also disgusting in my book that's you rogan that's you mel gibson you mark Wahlberg, you guy fieri <laughs> this is a statement from me no deb- not a debate or this not not a discussion or debate jack white the third kind of gay to say jack white the third but hey continue but i think this is good energy i kind of like this i'm not gonna lie i kind of like this energy from um jack white calling out his people because you would never ever hear a comedian in their entire lives you know describe um you know rogan as a disgusting fascist racist common piece of shit <laughs> never the millennia so i kind of like this kind of energy from jack white going at these guys i think it's a little bit misplaced and shit it's a little bit over the top but i do think it's quite refreshing to see him talking to these guys in this way i'm not gonna lie because there's so many people in the comedy industry that are ready to kind of get on all fours and spread it wide open for fucking um you know joe rogan and shit so it's quite nice to see somebody like jack white who's obviously a fucking um you know blockbuster guy in his own right decide to say the way he wants to say it so big up him in that regard (laughs) big up jack white he's not a fan of rogan inside so 
I was kind of hoping for a Jack White, White Stripe sort of like, you know, crossover on Rogan, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. You know, clearly he's made his point, you know, there clear. 